Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a video of my first time things. Voila! Of my first time things. And this is just a whole bunch of things that I've done for the first time. So, uh, let's just jump right into the video. But before we do, let's just, just make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment whenever you are done. And make sure you hit that notification bell, please, because that gives me a lot of help. And it just, you know, it really lightens my day. So, let's go ahead and um, get right into the video. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to tell you guys some of my first time things. And if you guys want more questions or, like, more things you can answer, then comment down below. Or you can, um, sorry guys. Or you can actually follow me on social medias, aka YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. I mean, not Snapchat. Uh, yeah, yeah, YouTube, Instagram, Musically, and that's and uh, some other stuff that I don't really want to talk to you guys about. Okay, let's just. Oh, and like the like app. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so today, like I said, we're going to do first time things. Okay, so my first, let's just start this. My first crush. Hmm. Huh. I'm not going to tell you who it was. Uh, anyway, so my first crush was in second, no, in first grade. And I'm surprised I can remember that far. But, yeah, so my first crush was in first grade. And I had a crush on this boy. He was, like, kind of like me. He always had, like, an attitude. <laughs> Not really, but, you know. If he wanted to hit somebody, he was going to hit them. And I'm the same way, so I just do it. And, um, yeah, so that was my first crush. My second crush was in second grade, and then third, and then fourth, and fifth, <sighs> and then now sixth. Well, sixth, is, I don't know who my crush is going to be in sixth grade, but yeah, I'm in fifth. And uh, yeah, so next question. When was, wait. Okay, when was my first fight? My first fight was like second grade. Because there was this boy and he was like, he would push me all the time and he would like make fun of me and everything. So I found him at recess one day and um, yeah, it just happened because... Um, I was like, really, why are you going to sit there and say all this junk about me and everything and then say bad stuff about me, tell the teacher things that you did that I didn't do? And he was like, well, because I wanted to and you need to leave me the heck alone. And I was like, what? Like, what? And then he started, like, kept on talking crap about me and everything. And he called me a whole bunch of names, so I hit him. Next question, uh, why was my first fight? Okay, my first fight was because I just told you, so you already know. Okay, when was, I cannot read that. Okay, when was my first boyfriend? It wasn't really my boyfriend, but, well, my first one let me backtrack was a boy and then my second one was a boy now my third one was a girl and then yeah because i'm bisexual rainbow emojis i'm playing with a slime by the way I'm trying to get out these foam beads so if you see me doing this a lot it's probably why because <laughs> i'm getting like a whole bunch of beads out anyway 
yeah, so my first crush was a boy, and why? Because I liked him and he liked me, so, boom. Okay, so the next thing is, what's your favorite symbol? It's not even a first time thing, but anyway. My favorite symbol, I'm gonna answer it anyway, is peace, love, family. Because that's kind of my life. I love my family. And, yeah. I want my life to be, like, peaceful. And, you know, love. Just kind of, you know. It's a good thing. And, well, what came with that question was, why and when was it your first favorite symbol? Probably my own symbol, my own favorite symbol, my only favorite symbol, um, because when did I realize it? Well, I realized it about a week ago, well, not a week ago, about a month ago, because my, one of my favorite YouTubers, my YouTube channels actually, um, does it, and then he explained it in one of his videos, so, yeah. I, you know, just kind of stole it from him. And, uh, yeah. So, and if you guys are wondering who that YouTuber is, it's Bounty Hunter D. I love his YouTube channel. Go take, go check it out and subscribe to him. He's amazing. Like, the Cheater Investigations are amazing. And the Fugitive Hunts, those are really fun, too. So, yeah, and his assistant, his partner, is uh, Patty Mayo, and go subscribe to his channel, too. It's just Patty Mayo. It's, they're both, like, amazing. So, yeah, go check them out. They're really good. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, those are all the questions, because there's way too many. I'm not going to answer them all. Those are all the questions, and I'm going to show you guys how many beads I just took out of this line that's how many i don't know if you guys saw that but that is how many beads i took out and i don't want them to go back in my line but yeah i have a butterfly by the way i can show you guys move from beads tiny little itty bitty beads why did i put the foam why did i put you in the anyway it's kind of a butter slime, but it's got a bit of foam beads in it, so it's kind of like a foam and a butter slime. And if you guys want to see me spread it, first you have to subscribe. I'm giving you enough time, so. Ready? Oddly satisfying. See all those beads right there? But listen to this, guys. So satisfying. So anyway, I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video, and remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment whenever you are done, and click that notification bell to get shoutouts. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.